A looming strike may threaten the way you receive your packages. Contract negotiations between UPS and the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Union, which represents over 300,000 UPS workers, have come to a halt. And each side is blaming the other for walking away from negotiations. And for more, let's bring in the Teamsters General President, Sean O'Brien. Sean, good to see you. Good to and see you. And thanks for being with us. Thanks. So UPS is saying you guys walked away from the table. You're saying UPS walked away from the table. What happened and what's wrong? Well, UPS can tell their story. We know the real story at 4 15 a.m. July 5th when we were trying to get a deal we're very close they said they had no more to give and so they actually walked away and um, that's why we're here right now we're trying to make certain that they understand how important this fight is for our 340,000 members that delivered goods and service through the toughest times we've seen pandemic what needs to happen well look to I mean this? our part-timers at UPS are working for poverty wages some of them are single mothers single dads working crazy hours and look everybody loves the UPS drivers who work extremely hard but those packages do not get on those trucks without those part-timers and you know UPS has the opportunity right now to do the right thing because they can set the tone on how it is to reward their employees who have made them the success that they are I mean they made 100 billion with a B and our members deserve to reap those benefits as well. And speaking of part-timers, uh, Sean, you've called part-time worker wages part-time poverty. Uh, let's look at some numbers. UPS tells us that on average they pay their drivers $95,000 a year uh, with benefits and part-time workers get $20 an hour with health care eligibility, uh, pension plans. Why do you call this part-time <coughs> poverty? Because they're not telling the true story. $93,000 for a full-timer is accurate, but they're working 60, 65 hours it's an extremely tough job and when you talk about the part-timers their part-time wage rate right now is about sixteen dollars per hour UPS is selective they pick and choose on who they're gonna pay what area and they can raise the rates we want to establish a uh, livable starting wage for part-timers but also make certain we reward those part-timers who work through the pandemic we lost members as a result of of going to work when there were no vaccinations no protections and all the while bottom line of their balance sheet kept growing and growing and growing we want, to, we want to be rewarded. There was no hazard pay. There wasn't anything uh, other than these people, our members, 340,000 providing goods and services to keep this country running. And we were all ordering all the packages because people didn't want to go out. Mm -hmm. UPS issued this statement saying, in part, the Teamsters have stopped negotiating despite historic proposals that build on our industry-leading pay. Refusing to negotiate, especially when the finish line is in sight, creates significant unease among employees and customers and threatens to disrupt the U.S. economy. We are not refusing to negotiate. They know what we want. They know what our members need. And if UPS causes a strike, it's going to be on UPS. I mean, they're going to self-inflict these wounds on themselves. Our members are the best in the business. They provide the best services. And it's shame on UPS. They have an opportunity right now to do the right thing and be the model employer for the entire United States. And can you talk about the concerns that you've been hearing from some of the Teamsters themselves? Well, I mean, mostly it's the wages. I mean, look, UPS is a very difficult job. We've made significant progress in negotiations. We've been negotiating since January, but it's, it's significant wage increases for the part-timers, but more importantly, dignity and respect in the workplace. What gets you guys back to the table? Is there something that needs to happen? UPS just has to pick up the phone, tell us they're gonna agree to what our bottom line is, and they know what our bottom line is. We've been very transparent in these uh, negotiations, and uh, they know what needs to happen. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks for getting on the train and coming on down for us. Great. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All I appreciate right, it. Uh -huh. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.